Hey YouTube, Mark here with another fragrance review, this time on the D Squared House. Now D Squared doesn't have too many men fragrance releases. They got that He Wood line, that's about it. Um, so I decided to go with my favorite from the house. Um, I've been wanting to review this fragrance for a long time. It's kind of under the radar, nobody really owns it. I don't really smell it on any, any, anybody, so it's actually one of my jewels that I like to keep in the background. But like everything else, I got to let everybody know about it. So here we go. This is Rocky Mountain Wood. There's the box. And here's the fragrance. Well, here's the fragrance. Here's the bottle. <laughs> uh, the bottle itself, very nice. Um, it's got the wood surrounding. Um, and the bottle's not really loose inside of it. It looks like they're two separate. And um, it's very nicely done. The sprayer works really well. And uh, very nice detail. Of course, it says Rocky Mountain Wood right there. So this is, I'm going to recommend this to um, the outdoorsmen in your family. Anybody that loves fishing, hunting, going outside, hiking, this is for you. This is definitely one of, if not the most unique, natural wood smelling fragrance that I own so huge marks on this fragrance um, this fragrance house actually did it well I believe he wood was too too much floral this one has a lot of wood in it which actually made it exactly what I wanted wanted he would to do so definitely points for that so let's get to the bottle sizes let's get to reviewing this bad boy and see what I really think of it so bottle sizes the standards 1.7, 3.4, you'd be looking at around 40 to $75 American. So really around every other designer fragrance. Now, this one hit the shelves in 2009, so it hasn't been on the market for that long. Um, and really, it's not all over the place, so you kind of have to really search for this fragrance. You have to look and try to find it, because it's not all over the place, which is one thing that I really love about it, because it's not everywhere. Um, group now he would or D squared um, say this is really a woody fragrance I agree but I'm gonna add um, because I think it's half and half I think it's 50% woody and it's 50% floral so I'm gonna call it a woody floral fragrance because if I just name it a woody fragrance some people might be caught off guard with the floral now Parfumier Daphne Boucher now Daphne is really one of the best to pull off masculine floral fragrance. Um, Daphne actually made Le Labo's Rose 31. So anybody that owns Rose 31 knows what I'm talking about. Um, so Daphne made this. Um, and I would say Le Labo and uh, this are one and two um, as one of Daphne's best. Recommended age 20 and up. Basically anybody can really wear this. Um, it's more of a darker fragrance, so if you don't like any incense, any pepper, any spice, um, any wood in your uh, fragrances, don't try this. Um, how many sprays and where? Two on the chest, one on the neck, one on each arm, and I am set with Rocky Mountain Wood. Now notes. This is, this is the good part. Notes. Amber. Incense. Musk, violet, Canadian lily, white pepper, vetiver, cedar are in this fragrance. Now, a lot of wood, a lot of floral, and a lot of spice. And really, you get every single one of these in this fragrance. Um, it's a really linear fragrance. What you get is what you get, like from start to bottom. So it's not really, not too complicated, but really it's very nicely done. So it opens up very musky. Uh, it's got tons of incense and a little hint of amber. So really, this one is not playing any games. You're not going to get, you know, some nice, pleasant citrus at the start. No, they go right into it. They're like, we're not playing any games with you. Um, then the flower power combination comes in. We got the violet and the Canadian lily. That's sprinkled over a woody base. Now this one finishes off with the vetiver and the cedar. Um, so this fragrance was actually inspired by our Canadian Rockies, the Canadian mountains. Um, designs for fans of nature. Um, composed of rocky notes, mineral amber, the musk. Uh, mountain aromas with the violet and the Canadian lily. 
and the Woody Accords, the Cedar and the Vetterer. Um, so really this one hits the Violet a little more than the, the original, which is um, kind of hard to think because the original had a lot of Violet. Uh, but there's much, much more wood in this one than the original Hewood, which I believe personally the original was really lacking the wood because you're saying, okay, this is called He Wood. You're expecting some sort of wood, right? This one, the wood is a prominent note. Um, it's a great mashup of flowers, wood, and I would say, I'm going to go as far as saying this is one of the best floral woody fragrances on the market today, bar none. This is this thing impressed me that much. And I don't throw around words like that too often. Um, it smells really natural. Um, it's the closest thing that I've smelt of actual wood, incense, and floral together. Um, they are balanced very well together. You're not going to get too much of either one. It's actually really nicely done. Um, you can tell there's a lot of incense in this in pepper, but it, it meshes really well with the pepper, um, with the wood, sorry. Um, now, it's something totally different from the fragrance game. Um, you know, sometimes I review fragrances that, you know, I review three, four in a row, and they all smell the same, and I'm just like, what am I going to say? How is this unique? This one is ahead of the game. It's unique. Um, definitely one of those that um, I know if I'm going out for a walk outside in the park, I'm walking my dog, um, going out with Steph somewhere, this is what I'm going to wear. Um, now, why would you hate this fragrance? Well, the wood, the flowers, mixed with, mixed with the incense might just be a little too much for some noses. Um, anyone that hates darker fragrances, orientals, um, if you don't like incense and pepper, um, if you don't like woody fragrances, this one's not for you. So one word to describe this fragrance, I'm going to give you two. Violet, wood. That's it. Um, definitely well done, uh, but that's what it reminds me of. Wood, mainly, wood. Um, bottles. If you own He Wood, this one's better. That's it. Uh, buy, try, or pass, because it's one of the best in the genre, and it's very unique, it's well done, very well blended. I need to say that this is a definite buy. I recommend this. I'm putting my stamp of approval right here. I recommend this fragrance as a buy. Now, when I close my eyes, this fragrance reminds me of what? It actually totally reminds me of the Canadian wilderness. It reminds me of back home. And funny enough, I purchased this overseas. I bought it blind. Um, I just wanted a D squared fragrance. I was like, wow, this bottle looks kind of cool. I'll, I'll buy it. Um, like I usually do. And then I opened it up and I was like, man, this reminds me of home. So I actually wore it the whole time, the whole two months that I was away. Um, that's how much I really enjoyed this fragrance. So, um, anybody that's, you know, really, uh, outdoorsman, they might really, really like this fragrance. So guys, this is my review on He Wood. D squared, Rocky Mountain Wood, um, total recommend, definite buy. Now my next review is going to be on this fragrance, Dolce Gabbana The One. So guys, let's get to the rating system and see how D squared Rocky Mountain Wood sets up against the rest. See you guys later. All right, guys, let's rate He Wood Rocky Mountain Wood. Projection, 9 out of 10, excellent projection all the way through. Longevity, 9 out of 10. Gives me 8 to 10 solid hours every single wearing. Versatility, 9 out of 10. Great for evening use. Great for casual use. Jeans and a t-shirt. Going for a walk. Hunting. Great for fall and winter. Overall smell, 10 out of 10. This is a very unique fragrance. One, if not the best floral woody fragrance I've ever smelt. Overall, this fragrance gets a solid 9 bottles out of 10.